This is the truck. No bombs, just this truck, which became the weapon to deliver mass casualties. For two kilometres, at speeds of up to 60 to 70 kilometres an hour, it was unstoppable. The carnival crowds could not be protected in one of the country's most secure cities. Every European city is now asking what more has to be done. These bollards along this viaduct in central London are designed not for aesthetic reasons but for security. They're here to prevent a vehicle being driven through or over the sides and plunging down onto the road below. There are similar structures all over this city guarding its public buildings. Using a vehicle as a weapon is not new, but repeating this everywhere people gather for a public event is nigh impossible. Last year, this ISIS publication gloated about its attacks on French soil. The nightmare in France has only just begun, it said. It promoted the idea of using a vehicle and an Al-Qaeda online magazine, Inspire, even laid out details of how to achieve maximum carnage, to strike as many people as possible in your first run. Nantes and Dijon suffered such lone wolf vehicle attacks in December 2014. 20 were injured, one died. France has been aware of this danger for some time. It was Al-Qaeda that really began to spread it to the sort of broader global jihadist uh, world in 2010 when they said you should really use your vehicle just to go down and mow down people, uh, to put it crudely. Islamic State capitalized on that as well and they said uh, you should do this attack. And what's really significant is that just last month Islamic State issued a, a communique to its supporters around the world and said don't come here, you're behind enemy lines, do attacks back at home. There's no evidence yet that ISIS or Al-Qaeda was behind yesterday's massacre. But in the UK today, it was announced that police forces around the country are to review security for all major events over the next seven days. We've got to make sure that we do all we can to keep uh, our citizens uh, safe. The Met Police Service and the security services, as they do regularly, uh, are reviewing measures to make sure we are safe. And, you know, uh, the thoughts and prayers of all of us are with the people of Nice. The vehicle attack on Glasgow Airport in 2007 prompted the security review that brought in blast barriers and bollards for all transport hubs and later for many public spaces like shopping centres. But the Nice attack has shown the limitations. It is possible to use big barriers that are erected to stop vehicles, but the cost of doing that is quite prohibitive. And the time delay in getting those barriers up in advance as well and afterwards to allow life to return to normal is difficult. <laughs> But how normal can life become if the more barriers you put up, the more everyday anxiety and fear may result and the more impact the terrorist has on daily lives?